Welcome to the Lightning Round. I'm your host, Hi Res Duke. Hey guys, on this episode of the Lightning Round, we're going to talk to someone who focuses on quality production value with all of his content. So, without further ado, Octane Pro, introduce yourself and let people know what you do. Sure. Well, thanks for introducing me there, Duke. Uh, once again, my name is Octane Pro. I am a Smite podcaster, content creator, and community streamer. Excellent. And uh, where can people find you, like social media wise? My community website is OctaneProGaming.com. You can check out the podcast that I produce every week at youtube.com slash the smite update and everything else I have personal YouTube, Twitter, YouTube and stuff like that is slash octane pro S C I I. And as always, we'll have that in the description below. So if people need a link to click on, it'll be right there. So with that, we're going to roll right into the lightning round. So octane, are you ready for the lightning round? Let's dance, Duke. Oh, you want to dance? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, two minutes on the clock. And Octane Pro, welcome to the lightning round. All right. The timer starts as soon as I finish this first question. So, Octane, you've been making content for a while, even before Smite. What got you started in the content creation business for video games? Sure, no problem. So, a uh, big thing for me that kind of got me caught is that um, a few years ago, I was watching a podcast that was a uh, different, focused on an RTS, and uh, you know, I thought to myself, you know, I could do better when it comes down to production quality, and the community deserves better. So, I started to get into podcasting uh, for video production, and actually just started out as a producer, wasn't even the host or anything like that. And uh, from there, it just kind of trickled into developing my own shows when I jumped directly into the Smite scene about a year and a half ago. Okay, and uh, what brought you to the Smite scene? Sure, uh, I was kind of, I was playing an RTS at the time and was kind of getting burnt out from it. And I, I used to play a lot of um, other games as well that kind of developed and had the kind of third person view to it. And I love the kind of PvP atmosphere and this game kind of met that uh, that click exactly of what I was looking for. So um, that was just, it was just like, like a cool little find that I found on uh, viewing, you know, Twitch and uh, came across the game and I was instantly hooked. Okay. So you've got a lot of different shows. I mean, you've talked about podcasts, obviously. Um, what uh, what would you say is your favorite show out of what you do? I mean, I know that it's the whole "they're all my babies" thing, but <laughs> but you know what what's what's your what's your favorite sh show that you do right now? Long sure. question, sorry. Sure. Uh, favorite show is uh, Smite Talk, uh, and Smite Talk is a show that allows uh, viewers to go ahead and call in. Uh, and, and what I do is I invite a guest on the show, which is usually uh, a community member uh, well-known for esports or a pro player or something like that, or even a high-res employee, and invite them on the show and then take calls from the community uh, to ask us questions regarding what's on everyone's mind. Okay. Uh, what's the most, uh, it's kind of a weird question, what's the most awkward moment you've had on one of your shows so far, if you can talk about it? Sure, sure, no problem. Uh, I, I definitely have had an awkward, because of the fact like with Smite Talk where you take viewer calls, it's live. And it's not like with radio where you have that certain so many second delay. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so probably the most awkward moment was bringing in a caller and uh, having them play the song What Does the Fox Say? live on stream for everyone to hear uh, with the guest as well. Outstanding. That was a great lightning round. Thanks for dropping by Octane. And before you go, why don't you share a final thought like we did with TK, um, where you just share, you know, something that is right in your wheelhouse. So we'll, uh, we, we've already made reference to it. Let's talk quality. How can people up the quality level of, of what they're producing for Smite content? So a uh, big thing for me and kind of helps my content stand out and a tip I can give is, is definitely look at quality over quantity. And when I, and when I mean quality, I mean, you know, everybody can record something, everyone can record gameplay, but the, the big thing I can recommend, which has helped me kind of stand out is, is the graphics that you use on your podcast or your content created videos or community, even streaming. Um, you know, you don't have to be a graphic designer, but reach out to the community, find somebody that will volunteer to do it. If financially you can afford it, you know, a work with someone 
somebody and get some professional graphics put together to make your stream or your podcast or, or your gameplay video on YouTube stand out because believe it or not, that professional look goes a long way and brings the viewers coming back time and time again. Yeah, that's definitely something that people should pay attention to. That's that's actually something that we pay attention to as a company. Um, obviously, the content itself is, is something we're looking at when we're wanting to put it on our Facebook or Twitter, but then the production value of it is sometimes more important mm -hmm. than the actual content and graphics are a good way to up your production value. So thanks for sharing that with everyone. Sure. And with that, we are done with yet another episode of the lightning round. As I said before, all social media links are going to be in the description below. That's for octane pro and for us. So check that out and we will see you next time. Play for free at smitegame.com. Smite on my friends.